Good evening, lovely friends. Happy Sunday. It is the first sewing Sunday in May. Um, I missed you all last week. We didn't do a sewing video last week. We didn't do a reading video last week. I was just tired. So, but we're back. We're back again today and I've got a bit of a tutorial for you today. Um, but before I start that, I just wanted to, um, say hello, say sorry I missed you last week. And you may have noticed that I have changed my channel name. We discussed this and I went ahead and did it. So um, hopefully you can still find me and you don't think I'm someone else, but it's just, it matches my Instagram name now. So it just makes sense to have everything matchy matchy. Um, today, today I thought we would do some sewing. So this is completely out of necessity because I really needed one of these today. Have you ever been in the kitchen, busy cooking, doing whatever, you get to a jar and you cannot open it? Like that's, that sucker is stuck and it is not going to budge. So today we are going to make some jar openers because it turns out I need them. <laughs> so these are great scrap busting projects. They are so quick and easy and you will love, love having them in your kitchen drawers because they will come to the rescue so often. So let's get started. We are going to make some jar openers today. Okay, friends, so to make this uh, jar opener, we are going to need a few things. The first thing you're gonna need is some of this um, grip vinyl plastic. I got this from a cheap shop. Um, it's, yeah, it's a quite inexpensive and often you get it in quite big rolls like this. A lot of people use it to line their drawers as well. Um, if they've got things in drawers that they want to keep in place. So it's just a, um, like a rubber type material. So you'll need to find some of this and then you'll also need some scrap fabric, rotary cutter and a ruler. Okay, so the first step for making our jar opener is we're going to cut two squares and we're going to cut them at six and a half inches each. One out of this and one out of this. Okay, so we've cut out our two pieces of fabric and we're going to put the plastic or vinyl piece on top and we are going to run a seam starting from one side, going all the way around, making sure that we're going to leave a turning gap. Okay, so we're at my machine now and we'll just line this up a bit here. I've got my walking foot on for this because the rubber could be a bit sticky. I suggest instead of sewing it this way where it's going to really stick, make sure that you've got the fabric on the bottom side and we're just stitching from the top. And we're just going to stitch around the edges and we'll do a little bit of a back stitch to start. Corner. And again. 
just making sure to leave. Making sure to leave a turning gap. Once you've done around the edges, we're just going to trim off the, the corners close to the stitches, ready to turn. And then we can pull it through to the right side. there we go so last of all what we need to do is we're going to close up this edge here by doing a seam all around the outside again making sure that we sew with the rubber side facing up and then completely up to you but as you can see on this one I actually added an extra square on the middle just so that it kept it nice and firm um, so the rubber wasn't going to stretch so I would recommend doing an extra line just on the inside. This one is about an inch in, so we'll do that again. Okay, so my opening is just here, so I'm gonna make sure that that is sewn up first. I'm doing this probably about an eighth of an inch away from the edge for the first, for the first time round, and then I will go in, a, in closer to the center. Okay, so then all it is is a matter of trimming off your threads and you have got some jar openers. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you find these really helpful. I know that they come in handy so often. I think they would just be such great gifts to give. Um, definitely make a ton of them because they are just so necessary in the kitchen because there's nothing more frustrating than not being able to open the jar. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you again next week. Bye.